So lastly, this is a big question that many people have been asking because of the videos that we've been doing. And there's only two doing. of you left watching, but uh, for you two viewers, so. Yeah. <laughs> Question and answer time. Are you ready for some questions and answers? Sure. I'm kind of disappointed because there aren't any question and answers for me. I think they all are going to have to be answered by you. Yeah. Or maybe it should be that I should know more about this. Then I can answer them. But here we go. Question and answer. First question comes from John Brayman. Are you planning on getting back on the Sea Dory? yeah yes we are and we are gonna do it and last year we did for two weeks but this year we are going to we're gonna get a new van build that out in the desert we're gonna drive that to seattle we're going to ireland scotland england and but blah 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 then we're flying back into seattle blah 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 hooking the boat well he's not interested in that he just wants <laughs> to know if we're getting back on the sea door. so yes so we're we're gonna pick up the sea dory it's up in washington state and we are taking it back to the Midwest, and we are going to do part, all, section. Not sure. You never know with know, us. Of the Great Loop. So. And we, the Great Loop is what for people who are not familiar with the Great Loop. So what the, is that? So the Great Loop is basically the Mississippi, might be the Tennessee or whatever, but you know Mississippi Tennessee River Tom. basically down. Then you go down around Florida, down to the Keys. So you come around Florida, and then there's an intercoastal waterway, which is like canals or you know waterways that are protected from the ocean that go up the east coast of the United States. You go through the Erie Canal, which we've already done. Oh, there's, you can go to the St. Louis Sea, Seaway probably, or I don't know, but Erie Canal. <laughs> do you know where you're going? Well, no, I'm saying you can go <laughs> up there, but we, I don't, we won't. We'll probably do the, I assume the Erie Canal. And then you go to like, Lake Ontario and you know the Great Lakes and then back to where you started. So the answer is yes, we are getting back on the sea dory. And, I could have answered that. And in a big way, you know, because we are going to. We love, love, love the sea dory, but we don't spend enough time on it. No, and that's what we like about it too, because it can sit and we don't have to worry about it. It doesn't need maintenance. We don't feel guilty about it. Right. So we are getting back on the sea dory. Yeah, Honda's start up just like that. Uh, we keep it in the the Pacific Northwest and haven't had any issue. It's all fiberglass. We wipe it. It's down. on the hard. It's not in the water. Yeah. So and it's like brand new because we've kept it covered the whole time. Oh so. right. So we have more sea dory questions that people are curious about. Yeah. Next one comes from Eric G. He asked, "Can you tow the sea dory with the van and launch it into the water without putting the rear of the van into the ocean?" Um, good question. We did launch it into the ocean. I don't, I mean, the, it didn't the, go into the rear. I was the one that, um, usually directs him back and I have, we have video on us backing it up. So no, and we don't want the salt water to get into the van. No, but it's okay. Cause like, I think our F-150 might have, you know, touched, you know, this one's, uh, four inches higher than a normal sprinter cause it's a four wheel drive. So this one might be higher, but and right, the length it, of our trailer allows us not to have to back down into the water either. Yeah, but for the most part, yeah. Right. Yeah. And we went at low tide. I don't know if that yeah. matters too much. Yeah. But, but anyway, no, it... Not uh, well, with this van. Yeah. Yeah. It, it did not. Uh, Bob Smith. That's a very generic name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hiding on YouTube, maybe. Yeah. No, just kidding. He asks where to find a sea dory because he's been looking for one for a long time and there aren't very many of them out there for sale and he was wondering if we had any tips and tricks on where to find a sea dory. Well, I mean, we bought ours 13 years ago, but but that being said, Sea Brats, so c-brats.com. And that is the sea dory group yeah. where everybody shares information and sea dories are put up for sale on that 
sites. Right, that is your best place. Not only that, people will announce them on there that they saw one on Craigslist or they saw one here or there. So that definitely is your best place to find a sea dory for sure. Yeah, good questions. Uh, let's see, next question comes from Sylvia Kraus. She asked why we decided to buy a sea dory. Uh, I can answer this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> we bought a sea dory because we have owned boats in the past. We used to have a sundowner tug, which is was a big 34 foot? 32, so it's like a Nordic tug. 32 foot length boat that we had on the Great Lakes. And we traveled around a ton in that. That was a slow boat. It was a big, you know, obviously because of length, a nice, great boat, but it had a ton of upkeep. We couldn't trailer it. It wasn't very um, boatable for what we like to do. Number one, we then felt guilty about not being on it, not being able to keep up with the maintenance because of the wood. And so when we sold that boat, we missed boating and we wanted another boat and you discovered the sea dory. Yeah, so we missed boating for like 40, I think it 44 was. minutes because <laughs> I, I actually we right. actually closed on the sea dory um, that sale and received the uh, monies or whatever. I remember being very sad about making that decision because we have a ton of great memories on that boat with our kids. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. I did not want to give up the boat, but it was just way too big, way too much maintenance. Yeah. It was stuck up there. So we ended up in, you know, we sold it for, I don't know, 80,000 and turned around and bought the sea dory, which is so much smaller, so many less uh, components and all that for 50,000, you know, yeah. so. It was it, it wasn't a financial situation it was more now we're free to right. use this in a different way take it anywhere you know everything that we said prior to that boat we actually had a wood thompson boat we've had yeah. some um we had we some had sailboats whaler. we had a boston whaler we actually bought a sailboat in a cornfield it was a Chrysler 22. <laughs> so really awesome sailboat, but we never sailed it. Never sailed it. Never we got, got the it. mast up. Oh, no. Well, I, no, I got the mast up. Meaning. It's not in the water. Yes. But a huge mast, huge sails. It was a beautiful boat, but we're not really sailors. So I'm not sure. Why did we buy that? Oh, because it's seven hundred bucks. We turned around and sold for like three thousand. Yeah, you know? but it wasn't the purpose of making money. It was we were going to sail it, uh, it because our our oldest son loves to sail. Yeah, so. yeah. He took sailing lessons and he loves to sail. And we actually spotted it when we were back in Wisconsin yeah. on the water, and we were doing a video by it. Yeah. And that was that it was boat. It was a slip. Yeah, that was crazy. The Chrysler Twenty Twos are nice boats. Yeah, that, it was a fun boat, but yeah something well, we think it was fun we never sailed we're it, not so. sailors we don't like wind we don't like weather right, right. So. we like smooth waters that's what the sea dory is <laughs> all right i think that's it for sea dory questions julie wants to know why we decided to use eco flows in our new van build that's coming up instead of the lithium batteries yeah good good question uh when we originally did this build i wanted to use EcoFlow wasn't out. They're a Kickstarter. Um, but I wanted to use power stations, basically, or they call them solar generators. But they're back-ordered too far. So I went ahead and did the Victrons and the uh, Battleborn batteries. And um, everybody gets, like, free Battleborn batteries when they mention in their videos. Free so, Battleborn yeah. batteries. Well, no, because now we want EcoFlow. So <laughs> Give us a free EcoFlow. Eco Forget Battleborn. They never contacted <laughs> us. But um, anyway, the EcoFlows are are crazy cool the only issue with ecoflow only issue is if you have an issue with it and it's not under warranty the whole thing's done so that is a concern that why is have. an ecoflow crazy cool oh because i mean it, it's basically three battleborn batteries or 300 amp hours okay in it it has a 3600 watts inverter which is crazy um, it's all in one, but the best thing by far, by far, is you can go to an EV charging station like you, uh, electric car, a Tesla, all those, and you can plug that thing in, and it'll charge those three batteries, basically three, you know, a 300 in amp hours. In that unit, yeah. In like an hour and a half, from zero to 100. So we were just at a convergence for like eight, nine days, batteries kind of went down, we drove a little bit, you know, but at the end they were like at 13%. Mm -hmm. We could have just went and had lunch, Mm -hmm. And there was 
every place has a, a you don't know this or i don't know this this ev charging stations at libraries sometimes they're free but i don't even care if they're free yeah we can go have lunch sit there for an hour because we never bring them to zero and then we're done right as we're there it was kind of like we have to drive because we have 400 watts of solar but it doesn't keep up in the winter now will the van recharge those when we're driving yeah. as well okay. yeah so i'm gonna have a, a a thousand watt inverter that'll run off of the uh, thing and so then it'll be ac charging the uh, both because we're gonna have two of those eco flows um so you know if they if they are reliable and stay you know without issue they're gonna be fantastic they weigh 100 pounds but they actually are movable so if push yeah. comes to shove and we're completely out of power we can roll it out because it comes with like a suitcase style wheels on it you put it on its side with the handle and you can wheel it so that's the other benefit of it you we can take it out of the van if we need to and charge it somewhere pretty sure it charges like 2500 watts per hour on a regular plug-in a 15 amp plug-in um for us it was a no-brainer now if you have it at your house or something like that maybe you know if, I, go ahead no i mean meaning it was just a great deal you know, yeah, awesome. Job. I feel like we should have a separate video on the equal flow. Well, no, once uh, we're gonna go to Seattle soon to to Aaron's, and then they're there. Both of them are there, and, and we will do a video on. Yeah, one. I will do an uh, unboxing of it because, for then I'm excited to see it. You know, like I said, he's off on the so coast the other of one is Washington. not unboxed. Right. Well, <laughs> I'll just put that one back in the box and, and unbox, unbox it, it for you. So, but the EV charge is crazy, but even a plug-in is He's great. He's not excited about it, can you tell? But you can just go to, the thing is, it's <laughs> like, if you need a plug, you go to um, a, a coffee shop, you got to lug that thing in. And it has a, like, like it's like a, a rolling suitcase. suitcase with a handle, which is really nice, but you're not going to take it into a coffee shop. But the EV charging, no, we just open the door, plug that thing in, and, I, you know two dollars to charge it or free in some cases but whatever a couple bucks and it's charged so i'm going to try even though i might change my mind on this i'm going to try and go without solar on the next build the 2022 van that we're doing but i may change my mind because we're also going to have a 120 volt refrigerator um and so then we might want solar to keep that one uh, charged or uh, you know deal with the batteries on that so I hope we didn't lose any viewers on that. That was a long answer. <laughs> no, because it's you know the EcoFlow is really <laughs> well, slick. So. Okay, stop talking so, about right, the EcoFlow. Another question. <laughs> Refrigerator brought up, which was a question from somebody. Why did we choose a normal dormitory refrigerator and not a 12 volt? And I think I can answer that. Though the normal dormitory refrigerators are super easy, convenient. And an example is our refrigerator was on the fritz and the one that we had in here. And, you know, I was, the only thing that we had to do was go to a Home Depot, pull the old one out, recycle that one, plug the new one in, literally plug and play and go. Now, we had just talked to a couple people at the Escapers Convergence. Who, um, their refrigerators went out and their 12 volt rv refrigerators that they had to wait for weeks to get them in and they had everything on ice and couldn't find them and had to drive 300 miles to get one installed and that's why we don't want one yeah and and now with the supply chain issues it's really a problem yeah but that's it but the problem is with the uh, 120 volt you need to invert 24 yep. 7 yep. so you know you can yep. use much more battery but that's where probably you'll end up having to put solar in the next yeah build, so. we'll see we're not going to put solar on it first so um, we'll see if that comes down to it. Susan Oakley is wondering if our diesel heater is still working. Cause we did a video on, uh, our diesel heaters were on the fritz. We had a Chinese diesel heater and then we had the SPAR, SPAR diesel heater. And we had a huge video on it and the troubleshooting. And so, yeah, she wants to know if that is still working. Well, so the Chinese was working fine and, but, but we had a basically a two thousand dollar one sitting in my parents basement last minute we were there last minute i'm like okay i'm just gonna try and troubleshoot it you know because i'm just gonna throw the thing out it's because it wasn't working we would try to shovel troubleshoot anyway troubleshooted it found out it was a glow pin which was a heavy uh figured it out 
and this is what I do. This is what I've done my whole life. I'm it's a, took I'm, three days to troubleshoot. Yeah, I mean, I'm a programmer, which that's you troubleshoot, and then I've owned properties, so you troubleshoot the whole time. Yeah. And so anyway, it is yes, is it's working, working great. like a charm. The S bar diesel heater is pr uh, premium compared to the Chinese. I mean, it's hugely expensive, but it is a super nice because sometimes we forget to turn it off and then it's nice out so it, you know it never runs it just sits there and then all of a sudden it'll, it'll it idles off. yeah it'll idle so it's just like your furnace at home is where the chinese diesel heaters continue to run yeah just at a lower uh you know and uh, they're quiet the uh, this one we have in is quieter than the chinese oh yeah diesel there's no too. there's no noise it's like right now it's running and I never hear the pump, and my head's right there, and the pump's right below it. Yeah. I never hear it. The Chinese diesel has a tick, 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 tick yeah. noise. Yeah. Um, fairly loud, uh, unless you encapsulate it, but... It's pretty loud. So it's still working. <laughs> no problems thus far. But on our 2022 build, we have another solution, so we'll show you that. I can't wait to try that. We got it in. Keep it a secret. It's in. It's down in there to get built. So. <laughs> Phil C asks, do we prefer traveling, sleeping in the van, or staying in Airbnbs or hotels? Uh, well, I mean, so like the. I can answer this. Well, one. I can first, and then you can. <laughs> so first, I, this is home for me, and so I love sleeping on the van. I love the feeling of the van, but you know, like we're. We're switching up here tomorrow and going to stay yeah. in Las Vegas for a couple of days and, yeah. and then go to Florida, whatever. And so I'm looking forward to that. So it's more, it's not from the, oh, I can't wait to get out the van or the, it's uncomfortable. No, it's super no, comfortable. No, no. So. Um, and as all of you know, as our regular viewers, we don't like to do the same thing very long. That's yeah. all about it for us. Yeah. We can sleep anywhere, any place, anytime. We have no issues yeah. that, with that. So preferring sleeping, sleeping is not a problem. Yeah, because sleep in Japan and you'll figure out. It's like, <laughs> on the floor. It's like we have a piece of wood on, on top of the wood floor. Bamboo for mats. On. It's like, but that doesn't. Yeah, so, <laughs> we so, can which, sleep on which that. Which we love. We love this. So wait, all I'm answering the question. Yeah. <laughs> so. On our last trip, actually, I really felt like this was coming home, and I like that feeling. I like the yeah. van because it has extra things on here. It has all my cooking supplies. I love to cook. So I love coming back and being on the van, and then, then we feel like we're home. But we don't want to get comfortable. We don't want to have that feeling consistently and just get safe feeling. And we get we get bored easily on it too. So we like adventure. We like switching up all the time. So we like to be all over Airbnbs, vans, jungle huts, you name it, hostels. We love that. And so, yes, it's our home. But no, we don't like to be in it for a long period but of time. But to expand on it just a little bit more, we don't like to be complacent, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So lastly, this is a big question that many people have been asking because of the videos that we've been doing. And there's only two doing. of you left watching, but uh, for you two viewers, so. Yeah, because he's <laughs> Cause long this is a long time, probably, but. <laughs> it's not. So lastly, several people have asked, are we going to start a van build out company? Yeah. Are we? Well, Are we? So should we? So wait, let me let, let me answer this. Wait, you already said it's long, so make it short. <laughs> no, but it's fun to, to to talk about it because, so the dealer just called and was confused that we wanted a twenty twenty two four wheel drive. So he calls. He's like, I gotta do it fast. What color do you want? And I'm like, thinking no, or I'm right away. I'm like, no, no, we want a twenty twenty three, not a twenty twenty two, because like. You, we already have a 2022 coming in, right? You know, I'm on the phone with them. and But anyway, then after I hung up, I'm like, maybe I should have taken the 2022 four-wheel drive also. No. But, um, and then we can build it out because no. it's like... That would make us complacent and all we would be doing yeah, is yeah. building bands. Yeah. No, so no, 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 not even, not even, not even close. Well, if we do the builds continue, let's say we do a 2024 or whatever, it'll be just to change it up a little bit when yeah. we want to. But at some point you'll figure out we're, we're going to be like, they don't even have a van anymore. <laughs> what happened to their vans? You know, so that, that's us. It's like, they're living on a sailboat in the Caribbean. Why right, is that? right. Yeah. What happened? Whoa. That's us. Okay. Wrap it up. Are you still with us? You think they're still with us? Yeah. No. <laughs> Thanks. It's way too long. 
<laughs> Thanks for all the questions, guys. We love them. We love sharing them with you and reviewing them. And thanks for watching our videos. And, and next time, do your questions early because then you'll get, you know, you'll actually see them answered. Because the, if you do them later, then it's the end of the video. <laughs> then you gotta like, you know, I gotta go. So. So you think I wrote them in the order of? Yes. Well, you should. <laughs> if uh, you know, if Jim Q. Yes, first. He should get his done first. Okay. Goodbye.